Let me mention some things that you're going to need to do if you're going to go forward in your life. First of all, you've got to make some critical changes in your life. Can I ask you tonight, as you think about your own life, whether you're here on site or watching online, if you had to take a piece of paper and write down, what's, what's the most critical change that I need to make in my life right now that will move me forward in my spiritual journey? Because God loves you and he wants to help you, but he can't make the changes for you. Okay. He can't make them for you. He, he, he will help you, but you have to set your sail in the right direction. You've got to make, we have to make some critical changes. We're going to have to let go of some acquired comforts in our life. So what are you talking about, Pastor? Well, sometimes that acquired comfort is that that extra 15 minutes of sleep in the morning when you need to get up and pull your Bible out and spend a little bit of time of reading. And you say, my goodness, my life is already full. I'm not sure if I have enough time to read my Bible or do some prayer time in the morning or in the evening. But I'm going to lay aside some comfort. Why? Because going forward isn't easy. Okay, It's never easy to go forward. But it's the right thing to do. And so sometimes it requires letting go of some of these uh, require, acquired coverage. Sometimes you just have to face down some, some very stubborn giants in your life. Anybody have any giants in your life that have loomed over you for a period of time and stopped your progress and tried to tell you that you weren't, you weren't going to make it spiritually and you, you felt that enemy that has encroached upon your life? It might be an addiction. It might be a relational situation. It might be a financial problem. It might might be some other area of your life that you haven't been able to overcome and God's saying it's time to stand up like David did with Goliath and face down the giant. It's going to require a fight, but the fight is worth it. It's worth it. It's not easy, but it's worth it. You've got to face some stubborn giants in your life. You've got to drive out some determined squatters in your life. I'm going to come out. That might actually be some people in your house, okay? (laughs) Be careful who you let into your world, amen? Let me say that again. Be careful who you let into your world. And there's some of you that have let some folks into your world that their presence in your world is robbing something from your life. And so you've got to be willing in a nice and loving way to say, I'm not going to live with this restriction in my life anymore. Why, as I've talked to you about before, your friends, your environment, your companions are going to determine your future. 